Brian and I opened Preston, which is our first retail location, uh, about 10 years ago. And just saying, well, let's see if we can just make a go of it um, together. And so um, we wanted to be a roastery, uh, and we knew we wanted to open a retail shop. We knew from the beginning that we wanted to wholesale coffee and do consulting and services, and that we wanted to have a public representation of the craft where we ourselves were presenting our coffees to the community. I've been wanting to open a coffee shop since I was about 15 years old or so. Uh, and was in my mid-20s by the time I actually moved to Louisville, met my business partner and, and really started working toward it. But just being deliberate to uh, make a space that would be welcoming uh, to enjoy good coffee, to enjoy conversation, uh, just to build, you know, for them to build relationships with each other and with, with us. So, uh, uh, it's really beautiful to see how uh, the people of the community come together. They become, they become uh, familiar with each other through the patterns of daily life. And pretty soon there's a new family or new community of people that, you know, didn't exist prior to discovering the, the coffee shop. So we just recently won the America's Best Espresso um, National Championship at Coffee Fest. A Coffee Fest is an international show and competition. They host the world's latte art competition. They host um, America's Best Espresso. They host America's Best Coffee Shop competition. Uh, it's all part of uh, just the larger coffee community. So the nature of that competition is uh, it's held every two years uh, and the sweet 16, if you will, from a two-year process of competitions uh, from all over the United States, um, the sweet 16 is uh, pulled out of that group and then goes into a head-to-head -head, um, battle of, of espresso of all things. Like, how do you battle an espresso? Um, and uh, from that, yeah, we won, we won the national championship. Um, we weren't expecting to win. We just knew that we loved our product and we knew how to handle it. We knew um, the profiles that were extracting it. And so we went in to have a great time and to learn a little bit about the competition. We hadn't competed in it before. And we walked away winning. We were going with uh, what our team considered to be a strong coffee. And then once we nail down the specific roast profile that we're going for, then we'll take it to the espresso machine in dialing the, the specific brew parameters. And of course, we went into that competition and several days later walked away with the, the national championship. So yeah, it was exciting. We were thrilled. The roasting process uh, can be thought of as a craft. Uh, it can be, you know, as, a, as an art and as a science. And uh, the technical side seems to be fairly endless. Basically, you know, just learning how to, to uh, discern why a thing happens, why a certain flavor emerges in a coffee. What, what did we do this time to make it taste this way versus a different roast that was slightly different and it, it had a slightly different nuance. So learn, learning the, uh, the skill of really highlighting the distinctives of a bean, that, that's our aim. Uh, roast it at a couple of different roast levels and test it to see uh, what that bean can handle as far as temperature goes, how dark, how light should it be. And uh, we just really fine tune that roast through the life of, of, the, of the reserve that we've made for the importer. I've never expected to have more than one coffee shop. We have three and we hope to open more in the future. People join us in the work and find a place in it and to really progress in their skill, uh, to make their home in the work in the, in the community that's uh, developed around, around Center Goss. We never even anticipated that we could feed our families and lots of others. And that's been, yeah, we've just been astounded by that. We've been blessed by that.